happening honey oh you know honey. a whole lot it makes you think of that clip uh you probably never saw it because you're not a girl but there's a clip of this it's a comedian i'm sure yeah and she's talking about going to the nail salon it's like honey what do you want for your nail what do you want your nail done honey oh lord i have not seen that now yeah it's really old really old i mean by really old i mean like it was popular when i was in middle school so so 60 years ago huh <laughs> what I thought you said 60, and I was like, no. <laughs> You're an idiot. A little bit. Uh but she loved me. Sometimes, yeah. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> All right. I'm looking at a screenshot that you sent me. Yeah. And it says, the family thinks their dog's butt looks like Jesus. Look at it, doesn't it? I mean, he's even wearing a robe. Don't it look like it? <laughs> I mean... To me, is just as believable. So yeah, oh, you yeah, that is. It's terrible. It he, does kind of like Jesus. He has come back. Look at that, guys. He is risen. <laughs> he is risen. It's terrible. The other one, the other picture is actually kind of terrible. Actually, kind of terrible. What do you mean? Like I think it's terrible. You'll think it's hilarious. What picture? It might be offensive. The you other one sent I me, sent you. you it, just sent me. We this. didn't open it. It's it's to the, it's that one. Oh, this. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's from the Virginia Down Syndrome Association. There's uh, a movie coming out called Slightly Peter Pan. Slightly Peter Pan? Slightly. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Come on. Peter Pan and Wendy star so-and-so who's 15 and he's already breaking the ground by. Yeah, but it's a, uh, I don't know. It's a young kid with with Downs that's starring in a new Disney movie. Well, why do they have to do this? It's the fact that the movie's called Slightly Peter Pan. Oh uh, yeah, like, like why? What's so- <laughs> next? <laughs> Come on. What's next? Slightly Peter Pan. Like that's that's the offensive part. That it's called Slightly Peter Pan. Oh, just wait until they release Drooling Dumbo. That's gonna be Aww. great. What is it? A zebra that wants to be an elephant? <laughs> it's a zebra with Downs. That wants to be an elephant. That wants to be an elephant that flies. You're you're right. Hey, <laughs> we got this half written. And, yeah. And don't you think that this isn't being discussed? I'm at, sure. Like, Somebody has brought it up in a, some meeting. Again, man, like, just make a movie with a Down syndrome character and don't, I don't know. You Which don't, is you don't cool. need to call that's, it slightly. <laughs> right. That's the part that bothers me. It's not uh, the part that there's a Down syndrome kid playing Peter. That's great. Good for him. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Like if he's a good actor, fine. Why the, is it called slightly Peter? Like there could have uh, been a better name for that. Did they call the Victoria's Secret model that's all Downsy now? Did they call her like slightly angel? <laughs> no. A drooling angel. That's terrible. Try to bite your drooling. own earlobes, angel. No? no, clap with one hand, Angel. You are a <laughs> retard. You could do it. Your tongue was sticking it, out and everything. You're right. You're you went full tard mode. That's not bad. So, like, I can do it though. Uh, <laughs> and I see that as an accomplishment. And you see that it's like, what the fuck is wrong with my wife? I know what's wrong with you. Oh Too man, many chromosomes. Um, no. What else this week? We have an update. There was a wedding on Monday. Mm. And uh, do we have to talk about this again? We didn't talk about it. We mentioned that there was a wedding at 3 p.m. on a Monday morning. Yeah. And how did that go? Well, you see, my friend was talking about having an open bar. She and did. there wasn't many people at the wedding. So I was like, well, I'm going to make sure she gets her money's worth out of this open bar. Yeah, I was drinking. These little glasses of wine like they were shots. You drink about eight bottles of wine. Every time you talk about it, it gets more and more. I don't know how many glasses I had. It's But I really was I was taking these cups like they were shots. It was bad. 
And I was fine until I wasn't. <laughs> uh, you were not fine. And I was until I wasn't. Bro. Like, I remember trying to put my shoes back on. And I was like Jeez. squatting, trying to put them on. And I couldn't figure it out. So I just flopped on my butt on the floor. That's good. That's good adult behavior. I know. <laughs> I'm getting stupid loose. It was, yeah. it was bad. You were... You were a mess. I, I was. And then... Like, when I get drunk, I turn into Becky, and this was, like, past Becky. Becky was Becky was too drunk. Becky got drunk. Yeah, yeah. But you, Becky went to bed, and then a new monster was arrived. Yeah, it we was... We haven't met her yet. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, I still feel really, like, embarrassed every time I go to work, too. <laughs> I'm like, did I work with these people? And then I go to work, yeah. and I'm like, oh, crap. What did I say or do? I don't think you did anything too bad when we were there. But as soon as we got in the car, that's when when shit just literally hit the window. Yeah, dude, I puked out the window of my car. Not entirely. Mostly, I thought. I thought. <laughs> uh, and the, the the crappy part. Well, all of it was crappy. But like, crappy I was part. sleeping. Fucking thing sucks. Yeah, and then I was puking <laughs> out the window. It was, and then the next morning, then I got home and I was mad. I was so mad, and I was I spraying off my car, drunk as shit. I got the kids ready. I got them like handled and I was, in bed. I was mad, and then that the hose was in the backyard, so I had to like pull it over. And I was getting so mad because it kept getting stuck in between the fence posts. But but honey, let, let's let's do and a we're little not analysis. There Hold on, we're not there yet. Who? Put the hose in the backyard to start with. Uh, probably you. What? Um, <laughs> you were so full of shit. I don't like your jerk off. Man. Yeah, yeah, it was I me. Don't like jerk off. Babe. It was. I it was like me. Jerk off. Baby. I don't like yeah, a jerk off. I don't like you. Jerk off. I know. Ugh. I was being a jerk off that night, dude. That was. I sprayed my car down the side of my car that I thought that was good, bro. Hold and on. And then the next day, let's, I had to go to let's, work. Let's back up a little bit. So okay. on this was an hour and a half away. Yeah. From our house as well. So we were driving back. You wanted us to stop at one of your friends' house. Yeah, I'm glad we did. Because they were going to have, like, I don't know, like pizza and a pizza. hangout or whatever. And I was I like, I wanted pizza because the wedding only had, like, a tiny, tiny, tiny side of a salad, a small piece of chicken. Yeah. Mashed and potatoes. The mashed potatoes were really good. Yeah. The chicken was good, but I'm a fat bitch and it didn't fill me up. <laughs> Get your fat ass up there, yeah. pal! Yeah, it's, and um, uh, we were all in agreement that we were all fat and wanted agreement. to go to her house for pizza. I, I don't think agreement is a word. It's a word. No, we were in agreement. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, now let's try to get an answer from someone who's not a complete retard. <laughs> try again. We were all in agreement. Yes. To go over there for pizza, and when we made that agreement, that's when I should have stopped drinking. Bro, I should have been like, did yeah. you make that agreement at three thirty? Probably. Yeah, we stay there for another three, almost four hours after that. We stayed there for a while. And and I think it was... It was bad. Like like the weather for some like stations where they're like, weather updates on the minute, every minute. That was you and your fucking wine cups on the minute, every yeah, minute. Yeah, it was... Yeah. Why didn't you stop me? Because you're a grown-ass bitch. Yeah, but like... I, punch me and be like, hey, bitch, calm down. Oh, yeah, that's going to look down. great. Don't hey, really well, like, happy hey, wedding. Kapow! Hey, hey. Slow down. <laughs> hey, drink some water. <laughs> hey, stop. Um, no, listen. I, you were having a good time. I was talking to one of your friends, the like husbands. Yeah. That I'm. At. I was having an okay time. Yeah. Like it's not my crowd. I don't really know anyone there, but that's fine. Um, and we got in the car. We're in the highway, and you just. I, I think you were trying to be sneaky. You rolled your window down. Like, I had asked you a couple times. I was like, do you have plastic bags? Do we I have anything? I don't remember you asking do any of that. Do we stop and get a plastic bag at any fucking gas station or something? And then you didn't answer, and you went radio silent for a while. I was asleep. Radio silent for a while. And then, I don't know, let's call it like 10 minutes into, like, once we got out of fucking back roads and into the highway, is, uh... <laughs> I just saw you roll your window down um, and, you know, it, it, things happen. And I thought you I only knew you puked, if I'm being honest. And this is gross 
because a droplet of fucking something, and I didn't know what it was, hit my hand. How? What? Hit, we were on the highway, bro. Ew. I was driving highway Ew. speeds, and like something like wet just hit like my pinky or something that was between <laughs> us, you know, between the Gross. passenger and the driver's seat. And Ew. then I look over, and you're like hunched over the window, just going. Whoa. <laughs> gross and like i was like okay good at least she got it out the window i looked behind like window and uh her window is just coated uh, with puke and i was like well good thing her window wasn't open because this was gonna be a fucking horrible ride that'd be so bad Can but you, uh, um but <laughs> but then i lo- when i when you actually like kind of stopped Half of it, you hit the wind, like the the door. Yeah, you hit the inside of the fucking oh, door. Oh, I know, because I cleaned it out, and I almost scratched oh. my finger up trying to like scrape two day old puke out of the fucking windowsill. Yeah, so so uh, now we're caught up. Oh, and I also kept telling. I don't know if you remember this. I was looking at you. Um, the kids were fucking falling asleep anyway, but I was looking at you, and I was like, "Hey, man, we're on the highway." Do you need me to pull over or are you going to get your shit together? Because, like, we will get pulled over for you just projectile vomiting as we're, like, driving. Never mind drivers behind us. I'm sure we ruined a lot of people's fucking day that day. And by we, I mean your puke. Um, But then we got home, started getting the kids ready, and you were mad at life and drunk. And you kind of cleaned your car yeah i sprayed it down with a hose and i was like oh this will be good this is good enough and then the next <laughs> day i saw it and i was like oh my god that was not good enough but i had to work yeah so i went to work and i came back home after being gone for 14 hours i was like yeah. i don't have the energy to do this the next morning i had to take the kids to school yeah and as i'm like getting them ready i'm like oh crap that's the passenger <laughs> side that's where the <laughs> oldest kid sits that's where the teachers grab the door handle to That's let her out. Yep. So I start like Lysol wiping the side of my car. <laughs> we pull up and I tell the kid, I'm like, hey, before your teacher gets here, you open, open the door. door and you jump out. Open the door and get out before your teacher even gets to my car, please. And she was like, yeah, because you puked. I was like, don't, please don't tell your teacher that I was so drunk that I puked on the side of my car. Uh, she and that's definitely why told open, your like, mom, pl- though. Please don't tell your teacher that. She definitely told your mom. That's fine, because mom was trying to call me on the way home, and I didn't answer. And then she texted me, was like, please call me. And I'm like, we're home. It's fine. She was Everything worried. is fine. She was worried about me. Oh, dude. But I'm anyway, worried about me. It's all good. It's all good. It's past You still us. love me? Most days. You're right. Next time, stop me. Please. Uh, well, after after like two glasses listen, that fast, man. like tap me and be like, hey, listen. Slow down. Maybe you should slow down a little bit. All right, I will. Please. I will try. But like, dude, you're I an know, adult. Man. I know I'm an adult, but I also like. <laughs> and this you is going to sound very like therapist-ish of me, but like, I never got to have my like crazy drunk bitch stage because I got pregnant at 19. Ugh, I can't even begin to analyze that one. I know, you crazy bitch. That's my uh, my excuse. No, it's not an excuse because it's not a good one. It's that's an excuse. my inner rationalization. It's your excuse. Why bro. I know no difference between <laughs> just drinking and getting drunk, dude. Okay, now let's try to get an answer from someone who's not a complete retard. Yeah, yeah. Just saying. I know, but anyway, I've it's never done. been that drunk where I was like mad um, like that, dude. Yeah, you're you're pretty mad, but it's all good. Uh, no, so wedding happened. Uh, what else happened this week? We worked. Mostly work. Oh, I fucking... I'll have a little bitch fest about working super late on Thursday. Oh, oh yeah. That and was then rough. a computer... Like, technology issues happen because mm-hmm. I'm working remote. And then it's super late. I have things that are due and I just need to get them done. Yeah. But I essentially lost, like, access to work that I've done for the past, like, four or five years. And I needed to get like some of that stuff for reporting That's for my so boss. Bad. So I reach out to the IT department. And of course, it's some idiot that probably doesn't want to be there either. And she takes over my computer. First of all, like 
I knew it was going to be a bad interaction when I told her what my issue was. I was mm-hmm. like, I cannot access this network drive. And she's like, oh, you having problems with Outlook? And I was like, no, <laughs> not at all what I said. Not what I said. Uh, if you read what Jeez. I actually typed, Outlook is not the problem at all. No. So the dumb whore took over my computer for, I don't know, it felt like 30 minutes. And then about right. 40 minutes in, I think I turned to you and I was like, the bitch just fucking left. Yeah, she did. She just left me hanging with my dick in my hand. Mm. And I had I nothing to fucking like, I was like, oh, cool. So I have no solution. No. And then you just spent all that time for no reason. Oh, I was so angry. So I started text or emailing and texting like my boss and people was like, hey, can you access this and just send it to me via email? Because yeah. I can't access it myself. I, I I was up way too fucking late working. Yeah. And the dummy fucking. How do you suck at customer service? Because kid you not an IT service desk. You are customer service. Mm-hmm, absolutely. Right. Yeah. They're, they're internal customers. I understand that. But like you, I am your customer. Right. You need to do the you customer have to fix service my problems part of it. and be nice about it. Yeah. And, and dude, I've had those jobs, man. Sometimes got to eat shit and smile. Yeah. Sorry. No one likes customer service jobs. I understand. And like, of course, she's like, well, can you reset your router? And this and I was like, I will not be doing that. It's not my Internet. That's it's the not issue. my Internet. That's the issue at all. So no. But a lot of times my Internet is the issue. But. but dude, it was it was just bad. And then at the end of the whole interaction, after she just bailed and didn't solve my problem at all and left me just hanging, she decided to send me a survey about oh, no. how did I. How how good oh, of a job did no. I do? And I fucking destroyed her. Yeah, I'm sure. I hope I hope that someone read it and they're like reaching out to my to my boss and they'll be like, "Hey, uh, did something happen?" <laughs> and then I I want to be on that call because I'll be like, "Oh yeah, something happened. She needs to go back to grade school. <laughs> <laughs> she Aww. cannot read." I, I typed in net network drive and she got outlook out of that. So that's how that started. And uh, I don't think she, this is not the position for her. Maybe give her a broom and she could sweep around the office. Oh, Jesus, man. She can be the coffee, the coffee girl. I don't think that whore can fucking make a good cup of coffee. And, and I, 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 French order press, right. I don't know. <sighs> willing to bet she fucks that order too and oh, my yeah. order my order would you agree would be the easiest fucking coffee order ever you'd order a black coffee and she'd come back with some yeah, medium black caramel, coffee. caramel frappuccino venti size that's like right. no coffee in it <laughs> and i would have to i've never done this before but i would have to break every moral bone in my body to fucking break every bone in her neck <laughs> at that point Stupid. i think i would have to result to violence but uh so that was my week uh we didn't get to hang out much with our our neighbors that were hanging out that night uh but it is what it is I got home. You good? i can't stop yelling i'm oh. not i don't even feel like i'm that tired i just it's can't stop i know i don't feel like i'm that tired i just can't stop yelling do you need me to rough you around Oh, huh. maybe after this. Hey, oh, take those panties off. I mean, never mind. Um, <laughs> 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 I got home on Friday, which was Cinco de Mayo. Yep. And I was on the phone with my mom as I'm pulling in, and you guys looked like you were having one heck of a party outside. Meanwhile, yeah. like I was about to pee my pants. I don't know why I whispered that. I was about yeah. to pee my pants. And I'm on the phone with mom. Bell. We celebrated. Yes. I was on the phone with mom and I was like, I got to go in and pee. Like everybody's outside, but I got to go inside. So I ran inside, came back out and like the party had dwindled down. Thank God. <laughs> but, it was, but it was just funny because everybody was outside on a Friday night just hanging out. Sing with the Mayo. <laughs> what was that? That wasn't a yawn. That wasn't. A, it was like. <laughs> I choked on my spit. Uh, <laughs> but uh, who the fuck is that guy? Yeah. 
Uh, he was talking shit yesterday. Fights were yesterday. Yeah. Uh, good fights. Got to hang out with a, a buddy of mine that just broke up with his girlfriend and just had a bunch of us over. Uh, I also think when he broke up with his girlfriend last time, I was also the one that hung out with him and went to watch like UFC fights. Yeah, I feel like that's what happens when he breaks up with his girlfriends. He has <laughs> all of his guy friends over. Well, the first time, dude, the first girlfriend he broke up with, that was weird. Cause like, Wasn't I, it just because of like COVID and they couldn't handle being together, together solo for that long? Yeah, they didn't they didn't make it through the 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 pandy part of it. But um that was my favorite part. Was just yeah, dude, right? I was like, oh, the world shut down? Fuck yeah. Don't cool. bother us. Yeah. Uh, but no. So that time, um, he went through the breakup. They were still living together. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had to, I picked him up at his old apartment where she also lived. And I told him, I was like, hey, I'm not going to fucking come up. Come on down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to make it awkward. Nope. But then... We took him out. I think we went to like Duckworth or something or uh, I don't know, just a pub. Yeah. And uh, a bunch of us uh, just hung out. Uh, he got a little too lit. No. And he is hilarious when he's drunk. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> I had to drive him home. And at the end of the night, he's like, come on, man. Just come on up. We just have some more beers and stuff. I was like, dude, it's 2 a.m. Like, <laughs> no. If you want a couch, you can come to my house and crash at my couch, but right. there's no way in hell I'm going up to the fucking Cuban Missile Crisis that is yeah. your house right nope. now. <laughs> That's not happening. Not for me, but uh, this time around, a little different. Uh, I think, it, you know, and everyone has their reasons, but what he was telling me is uh, his grandfather just had a stroke and uh, two weeks ago, and he's in the hospital. And he, his, from what he was telling me, like his grandpa raised him kind of like my grandpa did with mm -hmm. me. And I, you know, I, I understand where he's coming from. Yeah. And, uh, when he told her the, the recent ex-girlfriend, I guess, when he told her that the whole thing was her response was just like, Oh, well, is he in the hospital? <laughs> he's like, yeah. And then any other person that's like normal and like I generally hate people, but and I wouldn't fucking say this shit. But her first thing was, Oh, is that why you're being a fucking dick to me the past couple of weeks? Jeez. And from there he's like what? Uh, yeah, we were done. And I was like, dude, I Yeah. We would have been done too. That's <laughs> you terrible. Out of your mind. Come on. It's, it's uh you don't it's a group chat. Oh, sorry. Phone's you're blowing good. up. But uh yeah, so yeah, that's messed up. So I went there. He was just like, you know, he told me all that, and he's like, "Well, you know, she moved out on Monday," and I was like, "You know, my man, fucking greener pastures, because you don't need people like that around." Yeah, no, that's great. One of my friends had the same, uh, not the same, but very similar thing happen where like her grandpa had passed, and yeah. they were super close, even though he lived farther away. And so she was taking a lot of time to like go travel and spend time with family or whatever. And her boyfriend at the time had like. Just went radio silent on her. Oh. And she was like, the fuck? And then he was like, oh, I'm just giving you some space. Well, but then, like, just continued to just not even <laughs> kind of talk to her. Okay. And so she was like, okay, like, if you can't even be there to support me when shit goes down, then, like, maybe we shouldn't be together. It's, uh, I, right, because that makes sense. Right, like, like, there's a difference in giving you space and just, like, not even not acknowledging at all not acknowledging that anything even happened like your family member passed away like yeah you can still check it i don't know no you're right you, you could at least say hey that sucks like, right how can i help like hey or, can i do anything can or can like do hey anything? i'm thinking of you or hey you know let me know if you need anything today i'm not gonna blow up your phone because i know you got shit going on but i'm thinking yeah. about you or just i don't know call once at the end of the day or something and be like hey i I'm giving you your space, but I just wanted to check in. Right. Like there is a way to do that. Like when you right. don't do any, like it just shows you don't. It give just a shit. like you don't give any much any of a shit. And I've been there to where I wasn't in a relationship in the past, where I was just like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, your grandpa died. Well, 
Suck maybe, to suck. Maybe your grandma will die next week. Like, fuck off. Listen, but when her grandpa died, she got his house, and you could have moved into that and what? had all kinds of land oh, for dude, your dog. Oh, Lord. <laughs> you're talking about a different one, but yeah, that also <laughs> happened. That I'm sorry. Also I'm happened. sorry. Ugh. You're crazy, ex. This was after y'all had broken up, too. Yeah. Because you and oh, I yeah. had... You were moved in. Well, I was moved in from the beginning, technically. <laughs> yeah. Well, you were moved. You you had we <laughs> had been broken up for months. I just remember we were we were at the Target Minute Clinic for some reason. One of us had strep, or yeah, no, I think you had had strep, or you were sick, and Eight. they were testing you for strep. <laughs> okay. And I was in the waiting room waiting for you. Uh huh. And your phone was there. And it lit up with her name. And I was like, I'm not going to check it. And it lit up again. I was like, fuck, I got to see what she's saying. Oh, Jesus. I don't know. She was talking about how her grandpa died and how she got his house. And there was so much space for your dog to run. And Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I still remember that. Why do I remember that? I don't know. I don't know. All right. Uh, so yeah, what you got here? Bitches be crazy. Family <laughs> of eighth grader forced to play... Cotton picking game asked for ten million dollar settlement. <laughs> yeah, what cotton picking game? Like, I didn't know there were cotton picking games. I think like I briefly skimmed the article, and I think like they had to play a game where they picked up cotton with their mouth off the table. I I, I read that it was something called like nose dive, and they can only use yeah. their face to pick up the right. But. Uh... Which is ridiculous. Since February, the family of an Arlington eighth grader who so, say was forced to play a cotton picking Was he forced to play it though? Is now demanding ten million dollars from the district. I so wish was the ten mil. Cover the story How about all the times that like I pretty much was called a spick by a lot of teachers growing up and I didn't get a single mil. Uh in February, Stupid. I feel like some a story like this happens like every fucking so many years. So many years, so many months. Uh, now it's months, yeah, because everyone's just looking for fucking. Hey, the Hornets, go Hornets! Uh, the school the Whatever. students are probably bullying him because uh, you're being a little pussy. Right, like it's, it's like, not dude. like it's not like they picked all the black kids out in the class and said only the black kids have to play this game where you pick the cotton. No, like uh, it's probably uh, a substitute, and they were probably just playing a game because she was bored as shit. Like it was a substitute teacher trying to play games. Oh, he suffered tremendously, and that has nothing to do with the fact that mom and dad want to retire on ten mil. You gonna tell me that has nothing to do with it? The financial it's incentive ridiculous. of getting free fucking money for nothing has nothing to do with it. Okay. Oh, they never apologized. They isolated him. Oh no. To learn French. So uh, did your French class have a substitute also? And she said, "Hey, go to the library right. and read your book." Also. You're not frustrating, Mr. Whatever Senior. You're just salivating to get 10 mil for nothing. For a fucking nothing burger. Substitute claim that was a list of approved games from the school district. Yes. Yeah, he was forced to play Nosedive, which is a game required him to pick up cotton balls with his face. Uh, she claimed that it was approved by the district. I think this is the same video. Are you serious? You yeah. Got, all right. This website is dumb. Why would you put the same video twice? I don't know. But, I thought this uh, was ridiculous. I don't know, man. Like, we were supposed to wait. Go back up. We were supposed to put the Vaseline on our nose and pick cotton. She asked for volunteers and everybody looked at me. The teacher was looking at me and forced me to go up there to play the game. I didn't really want to, but I didn't want to get in trouble with the teacher. What trouble are you going to get, dude? To play a game? I'm pretty sure you, he could have made a joke, gotten a fucking dying laugh from all of his classmates they probably looked at him because he's probably the class clown and would i don't yeah no one knows that but you know what i mean like they didn't look at him because he was the only black kid in the oh, class yeah but this is just cruel and mean kids are such pussies today dude she shut the door and she started attacking me 
What? Jeez. Okay. I don't know, man. Other students participated. The activity uh, featured a player from each team taking turns, using only their nose. So it looks like the whole class played. It wasn't something that like he was really secluded, like they were saying. If there was like a Jewish kid playing, would he be secluded too? Because he had a bigger nose and he's Jesus. cheating. Like- I would want that kid on my team. Let's Vaseline that fucking schnoz up, bro. We're going to win. <laughs> Let's get some That's Vaseline and call, call me a fucking MMA cup, man. We're going to load you up. <laughs> We're going to grease this up, buddy. But uh, uh, this is correct. kind of. Mom gets raunchy. So around the same nonsense, I guess we can kind of start watching this, too. So this mom. Uh, and, um, I do believe that I agree with her so much. And they try to shut her down. So this is a student that's been using a girl's bathroom and like apparently harassing and and pushing physically like girls. Transloathing. That's a good word. Jeez. <laughs> the nonsense that comes with it. You have an any your girl. You have an out of your boy. That's right. Just stick to the basics. It they got us here. Gotten us here this there you month. go. And I don't think the school district is enough is doing enough to protect women. To protect no girls. districts are, man. Not every girl is like me. When I got bullied by a boy, you know what I did in third grade? There you go. Our okay. USD, I broke his nose. Amen. Keep this on the topic of expulsion. It is on the topic. Expel the student from the district. That's and right, do dude. do better to protect our girls. How are you guys Amen. hearing this? In one ear out the other? Is that how you're hearing this? That's fucking illegal. Parents have come here before this meeting yep. to express their concerns. And you guys do nothing mm-hmm. to protect girls, to protect women. <laughs> you're, you're over here protecting a bunch of trannies that are confusing with mental illnesses. <laughs> we don't uh, have to agree with, with them. That's hilarious, dude. I don't care, Mr. Hunt. I ha- fuck I you, Mr. Hunt. Okay. This is my time. I don't give no, a I fuck. Don't, I allow... Uh, I allow us, but this topic is specifically regarding expulsion. Okay, well, okay. expel the student from the district. This is the best. Him. Clearly, he didn't have a strong male in his life. Oh yeah. Probably he's a bastard, daddyless. Oh yeah. Okay. Even, and, uh, all right. And he's less of a man. He's a bitch, in my opinion. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna proceed to. Uh, what do you think about Jeez that? Louise. She's not wrong, dude. She's not but, wrong. <laughs> If you're a dude, I don't give a shit if you're playing Barbie and you decide to play fucking Halloween all year round and you're going to put your fucking woman face on. But don't put your hands on my kids. Fucking touch my daughter, dude. Or or go in the bathroom with my daughter. We're going to have issues. (laughs) We're going to have fucking issues. Yeah. And you, oh, dude, if a fuck one of these dudes pushed in either of my daughters, there would, first of all, I would look it right in the eye and be like, hey, it. Uh, call your fucking dumb parents here because one of them's catching a fucking ass I don't think you'd be kicking. able to talk to it because hopefully our oldest would have at least choked them out. <laughs> There's a and good they'd be chance. Passed out. There's a good chance. There's a good chance. Oh, man. Uh, this That's my one, job, bro. So this is my favorite, like, my favorite Amazon delivery guy ever. Okay. Ready? What do you say? I ain't got shit, bro. You just took that man's shit, bro. Delivery driver springs into action yep. after witnessing two alleged thieves steal a package he had just delivered. Good for him, dude. Hours, presented by Law and Crime. Heck Look at yeah. That. But yeah, so he. Oh my gosh. From Norman, Oklahoma, captures an Amazon Look at that. Employee. So yeah, even if that's my property, I don't care, man. Trespass away. L- yeah. Just at least let me catch the beating in my fucking ring camera so I can right? laugh at it later. Oh, dude, drag him back into the camera. Where the bit? Oh. Yeah, dude, because that, that, dri- that, that driver is probably the one that's going to get shit. It's like, that was never delivered. Right. I would tip him. Even though it's not a thing, like, I would tip that guy. Bro, I would be like, what was the item that I that I bought? 
Oh, a fucking Xbox Series X? Cool. Do you want one? I'm going to buy another one. What's your address? Right. You just earned a fucking Xbox, bro. Let's go. Absolutely. You have this one. I'll order me a new one. And- they, both of these guys should team up, grab that guy's skateboard, and just beat his fucking beat teeth in it. until the trucks fall off. Jeez. That's, I think, just. And it'll stop all these fucking scumbags that we have in society now. I love the videos where they have these like exploding glitter bombs uh, for these people that steal stuff. Yeah, that was an engineer that he he did one of those like every year. Yeah. I'm sorry. I called the police. They should. They should. Or at least a fucking beating, dude. Right. Oh, this one. I got an ad for this. Okay. Okay. Got an ad for this. And I can't tell if this guy is for real. Oh, God. Or just trolling everyone. But this is Bobby. And he is awesome. He may be a next UFC star. Very important note that the bag you'll be seeing. Oh, God. His recording is insane. It's not a water bag. I'm around five foot nine. Look, look at that technique, dude. Only about 150 pounds. Yeah. The video speaks for both my kicking and punching speeds <laughs> and strengths. And I'm, I you see that movement? Look how good he, he is, He only punches man. it like once. Oh, he does like what? a little double tap. <laughs> No, you don't say. Nuh-uh. I'll release a video going over the I'm getting stupid loose. And cycle for my donations are met. Uh, if you would like to donate for my science to be released, there's oh, my yeah. science. Yeah, he's got Jeez he's got Louise. science behind all of this. Me and the public too. He looks like he's in his mom's basement. Oh, it gets better. His wait, wait, bed's in right the corner. Here. Watch this. There's like a cat I think that shows up randomly. And what is that a cat right there? Oh no, lost the shoe. Oh, why would you keep that? And he's like punching them both at the same time. Bro, like, so With this, hands at the same this time. was an ad. And then I had to find the video for the ad. But the ad took you to like another website to purchase. Is he doing like DDR? It, either DDR or. Is what that movie Resident is that Evil? in the background? <laughs> it looks like Resident Evil. I don't know. But what's with like his like. He keeps on moving his head like I'm telling you, he's doing like dance dance revolution. He's dancing. He's not. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is what? And the double punches with both fists, like <laughs> oh. you, you did better against the mic that he did. <laughs> like he's not Look, hitting anything. Dude, that if, poor he clock, cat. if he clocked the cat. The poor cat's like, what the fuck is or going on? Or if the right cat now? just gets tired and just jumps on him and fucks him up. I wish that would happen. Oh, no signal. Like and now <laughs> he forgot to pay for cable. Oh, and you need no. to really fucking fix your outlets, bro. Look at that shit. <laughs> Put a cover on that motherfucker. Come on. That doesn't take much. You're but cheap. like, bro, this guy has a website that Bobby punches. Oh, fast. check out the video I made last video. Jesus. Uh, yeah, he sells a program that will allow you to be as awesome as him. Can we buy his program, please? If it's just anything, to make fun of him if it's anything over like two dollars no because i think it's worth two dollars but i need to find the program i got you are you gonna put bobby punches fast I sure should oh, i am dude no my lord all right so this one is apparently some scots can't say purple burglar alarm why i don't know purple right. burglar alarm um there's some Scottish people that kind of say purple burglar alarm, purple burglar alarm, purple burglar alarm. Today, Junior. Purple burglar alarm. Takes his headphones off. Purple burglar alarm. Purple burglar alarm. Burglar. 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 Purple burglar. Burglar. We can't even say bug burglar. I can't say anything. You can't say anything. You just can't say burglar. Um, there's some Scottish people that kind of say purple burglar alarm, purple. I think burglar is the one that's throwing them away. Yes, yeah, the b- burglar. 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 I can't even say it wrong. Burglar. All right, some good Samaritans here. We will go to bat for you. 
taking out the bad Unlikely weeds in society. Go to bat for a driver after a Murfreesboro road Bro. rage case ends with assault charges. It started <laughs> as a fender bender and soon evolved into a fight. A fight. A pipe and a weed eater. <laughs> what? Yep. Two witnesses who stepped in to help, but later became yep. victims themselves. Oh man. We'll go to bat for you and we'll take out your weeds too, I guess. It yeah, man. Be a new slogan for Green Absolutely, it needs to. This whole incident took place during one red light. Who the fuck is that night. guy? When the two landscapers had just wrapped up a job. As we're yep. rolling up to the intersection of uh, Memorial and Clark right here. That's where Murphy's red Moyle and Clark. driver attempting to merge sideswiped a car that Sheck Cafondo was driving. Cafondo upset reportedly began attacking the driver. Oh the no, you don't say that Sheck Cafondo would have attacked someone. Victim's car and he was yelling and the So hold on. Yeah, it looks like a crackhead. Not that guy, the guy that actually did it. Yeah, yeah. So the the guy that did it hits someone else and then gets angry and proceeds to try to assault them. That's There's that's no ways people are dumb. I he he must be, I don't know, a learned doctor or a lawyer, I'm guessing. I'm really? guessing. The wind, the I'm guessing this is a really well educated person. You know, and swinging the, the uh, pipe aggressively. He had a I pipe out at that point and I and I said, "Hey, get back in your car. It's not worth it. Get back in your car." He diverted his attention to us and started walking towards towards the truck, Bro. towards us aggressively. And that's when aggressively John Michael Green and Jonathan Osborne say ran him over with a mower. He's now in 7,000 fucking little specs. Cool. I got out. I was looking for some hand tools like we have back here, but all we had was a wheelbarrow, backpack blower, and my weed eater. So I pulled it out. The switch was <laughs> this is the best. Actually, and I was standing there and you know, try to, trying to start it and you know, trying to get him back with it by you know, with a weed eater. <laughs> and uh, hey, that shit hurts. Have you ever hit yourself in the ankle with a weed yeah. eater? That shit hurts. Yeah. <laughs> the weed eater didn't work and the fight broke out. The it didn't work. Fondo ended up punching both of them. What, dude, right underneath the eye. Fondo soon took Jeez. off. Do you have a weed eater and you got hit in the eyeball? Yeah, this parking lot hit him with the freaking weed eater. And police followed but they him followed him to a parking lot. lot. That's fine. I'm still caught up on the fact that how do you get punched in the eyeball when you got a weed eater in your hands? How do you get punched when there's two of you? Like fucking double and you got up. a weed eater. If you can't get it started, fine. Hit him with it. Bro, you got a fucking testicle and balls. Fucking use them. I'm just saying. I guess maybe don't use your testicle and balls in a fight. But like, you know what I mean? Like. Yeah, don't use but, this. Uh, but this too, good for them. They yeah, did something as opposed to many other fucking retards that we just watched. What was the point of having the weed eater? What was the point of bringing that up in that conversation? That, oh, I got my weed eater and tried to scare him well, off. The but then I, guess was, I still got punched in the face. The point was to start it and hit his ankles. <laughs> Why did they him. do that? I think he tried, but maybe he needed gas. All right, you ready? So here's a principle. Just... uh Starting up to school. Oh, why is this closed weird? What's going on here, man? Opening the dumpster. What could it be? That's weird. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, my God, it's a bear. Oh. What? <laughs> Pika bear. What? Did you see how, how fast that, that principal ran? I don't know, because like the dumpster seemed like it was like the bear literally locked himself in a dumpster. And now Principal Michael is himself. like shitting his pants. Good thing they're brown. Because he shit himself. Uh, They were brown before. They'll just like not stain as bad. Pika bear. <laughs> 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 he looked up that bear was right in his face and he said, fuck Yo, that. This bitch just like closed the door on him. Look at that. Hi, Principal. Oh, fuck she that. Oh, there's a bear. <laughs> and she closed the door. So fuck you. Hope you're good. Hope you got your bear spray. Oh, my God. Jesus. With bears, so, what, did you see that? You what? saw that? Oh my god, that scared me. You saw that, right? Jeez. Look, look at that bear. Ah, that scared me. That scared me. What is it? <laughs> if it's brown, lay down. If it's black, fight back. Is that true? If it's white, you're dead. <laughs> if it's white, yeah, you're, if you're it's white, If it's a good fucking night. polar bear, you're done. <laughs> yeah, I love polar bears. All right. So, here, since you're a proper church going gal. They're about to have a party, bro. Look, everyone's just jamming. They're really feeling the power. Praise the Lord. They're, Praise the Lord. They're feeling the power of that golden re retriever's butt. <laughs> here comes Jeebus. Jeebus is here. 
And uh, do you someone, clap on one and three or two and four? Depends if you're white or black and have rhythm. <laughs> I think snares are on two and four. You don't clap on two and three, you weirdo. I said one and three or two oh. and four. Oh no! The drummer was feeling, man. He was the feeling the was spirit. Feeling the spirit. And then Fatso over here had to ruin the party. And he's like, "I got more sticks, motherfucker." In your face. Who the fuck is that guy? Yeah, I don't think so. Pastor. Why is he trying to, like, stop the drummer? Because he wants all the well, attention. Look, the lady in the back is, is feeling... She's about to start speaking in tongues. Oh, they all are, man. And then they... He, look Why? at that shit. He's having him removed for Why? no... I hope it's... For playing the drums like he's supposed to? Listen, I... I hope... I hope that this was, like, staged... You know what I mean? They're like, oh, well, then Reverend whatever the fuck is going to come in and he'll do his little fucking spin. He'll pretend that he's like, oh, he's back. He's back. It's like on my stage. I don't think so, bitch. But now he's jumping and he's like into it again. I don't understand. I don't. This video confused me so much. What? He was feeling the power of Christ. Hard. And then why did he get removed? Too much Christing, dude. You can't you can't go too hard on Christ. You gotta keep your Christ within healthy levels. That's it, stupid. It's all stupid, <laughs> honey. I hate to break it to you. It's all stupid. Stop it. Man sucker punched woman on Earth Day. So this homeless hoe is just take it's Earth Day. Or as they would say, Earth Day. Um, oh, her foot got stuck in the trash bag. No, I think she brought those trash bags One of those in. is her stuff. I mean, she looks homeless, so that's probably her fine china. And then fucking Bartolo Colon here is not having it. He's like, you're gonna fucking clean that up. Pick your shit up. And she's just looking at him like, 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 do the something. The usual? Like, that's fucking illegal. Look, and she's eating... A pizza crust and like throwing it at him yeah so she's being really nice is my point you know what i mean yeah i mean it's earth day and yeah. she's throwing I'm garbage stupid loose. she's saying suck my dick is that yeah <laughs> let's go <laughs> it's so Fucking gratifying sucks it did not suck. I didn't mean to hit that. Look at that. And they come after him, man. She's like, no, you got me, boo. You got me, boo. Did you see her face? No, right. Right there when she gets up. Look. You got me, boo. You got me. Jeez Louise. But never mind. Like, also, like, why, dude? Oh, she wants another one. He's like, bitch. Another you. one. Uh, uh. And she's trying to go after him. Now there's people around that are stopping yeah. him. She's really, really... Don't touch me. Well, how about you stop trying to punch people, right. you crazy cunt? And stop initiating shit. Instigating. Don't do it. Don't do it. Thank you. No, get oh the fuck gosh. out of here. And she, of course, is going to go quietly and not start shit with anyone else. Bro, it's... People need to start getting checked. People are dumb. She comes back. That, like, oh, Lord. Let him celebrate Earth Day, bro. Jeez, and then this is the mayor of fucking New York that's allowing all that shit to happen. Look at that. Let's see that again. What, what a fu Look at that. She's looking at him like she is going to do anything and then starts throwing shit at him. See that's aggress that's that's an act of aggression, bro. Sorry. But you started the shit. He walked away. You're still fucking littering for no reason. No, like you're he's not the one that's gonna pick that up. Like you're ruining someone else's fucking day. Dude, that was that was the worst punch ever, too. Like he punched with like Yeah, it was like a her kid punches. punch. Was, yeah, God. Also, the crowd kind of getting pissed at him. 
Yo, yeah, crappy. you don't punch a woman. It's like, yeah, that's not. A, she that, shouldn't act she like that. Stop being a woman. Like when, when she started acting like a cunt, you punch a cunt. You yeah. don't punch a woman. Uh, oh, this guy, this guy I did a little more research. I believe he passed away, unfortunately, like a year or two after this. At a gas station in Las but, Cruces, New Mexico, look at this. a man is trying to steal a pregnant woman's children, fighting yep. everyone who gets See that way. piece of shit? He's out there, a lady with their kids. He's in the store. We can't get him out. He's trying to force his way yeah. into the locked bathroom, where the terrified woman and her children are hiding. There's a crazy man. There's a crazy man. It's yes. Okay. They're on the way. They're almost there, okay? But then a good Samaritan shows up. Yeah, out dude. Of nowhere. This young man comes. Go to town, the buddy. The attacker. I knew that something was wrong. I didn't even think about it. That kind of reminds me of Hudson, dude. Canaan yeah. Power. And incredibly, he's only 16 years old. Yeah. And, and he's about to fuck someone's day up. He's a big motherfucker, too. He's a heavyweight, dude. He's, at he's a heavyweight country. champ. I was about to get my truck and leave when I heard Good Samaritan is right. Across the street, a woman with a baby running away from this guy. Like I just knew something was wrong, you know. That Usually, was screaming for help. It's so a good I sign. Across the street, there's a, a man Stop my the door, and he was all covered in blood. And across the, the street, he walked across the street to beat the shit out of someone. Mm -hmm. Good for you, man. Has no idea. Like I wish this was into, my kid. I, I, I hope our kids grow up to be like this. Trying to kick down the door so he could get to those kids where they were hiding, and so I grabbed him from behind. In a matter of seconds. And nobody, you're not gonna do shit. The man, nobody else has been able to stop. It wasn't like a move that I did. Here's the situation. Wait, where are all the men that a 16 year old kid has to stand up for this now pinned to the ground angry employees pile on top of him yeah you're fucking his shit up he's like i got this they're in my way i wrestle and that i'm a big guy so i trusted myself i had him and he wasn't going nowhere fuck yeah only had one brief moment of concern when i walked in the door and i saw that blood on the floor i was worried that he had a knife or a gun on him but as soon as i was like yeah he was worried for less than a second and he's like right he didn't stop that's good that's a good person that's a good fucking person there desperate employees are still pleading with the police to hurry up yeah oh don't worry we have a man here now locked onto the man uh, saying, like, let me go and cuss him and stuff but after the first like minute he gave up yeah Kenan most people calm, once once the they know they can't get out are still living you that dude you're a bitch dude a, a ah! floor sign to hit him upside the head you see someone trying you're gonna hit the kid hit him or kick him they she just tapped him <laughs> she just tapped him in the head like boop, boop. to stop hitting him because he wasn't going anywhere after Kanan walks in almost six long minutes go by and you're thinking where are the cops? It feels like he's got them, them, though. These are people that don't know what the fuck they're talking about. That's a long time though, to hold somebody down. If he were fight, if he were to be fighting back that whole time, uh, bro, I'll hold someone down twenty minutes. A regular person that doesn't train, you ain't got shit. Good fucking luck, is what I'll say. That's crazy. Though. That's awesome. And, and, and the thing is, like, if he wanted to hurt that guy, he could have. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the best. That's the superpower. Even with like jujitsu, wrestling, it's just like, oh, you don't even you understand. You even know the damage like, that I, I can do. I am playing with you and aggravating you. Yeah. But if you hurt, if you fucking punch me, I may have to take your neck or arm or leg or whatever I choose or all of them. Because once I take your arm, you're going to be focusing on that. I'll switch around to the other arm. I'll just go around the clock, just mm -hmm. breaking limbs. Fuck you. Um, this is your favorite pizza place. Little Caesars. You doing all right financially? Couldn't be worse. Thanks for asking. Well, you came to the right place. So how does a pizza for only $5 sound? Sounds like something's wrong with it. Oh, yep. no, trust me. It's great pizza. Right out of the oven. Now, when you say right out of the oven, <laughs> like for about 30 to 40 seconds while we're putting it in the box. That doesn't sound very long. Look, all you need to know is that it's going to be hot and ready, sir. See, now, when you guys say hot and ready, like, how long has it been hot Two and weeks ready? ago, man. Since you've been here, since you started working here, um, does that even mean it's good? Sir, this will be by far the best and also sometimes the worst pizza you've ever had. So, like, it'll never be the best. Sauce? I mean, does this even have to be approved? We're getting off topic here. Now, we got one large pizza. Now, are you going to want that here to go? Isn't it always to go? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And to go? Great. And would you like anything else with that? Yeah, to leave here as soon as possible. Well, lucky for you, your pizza's been ready since I applied here. Good luck with that. You should definitely come to my wedding. Well 
It's just like with little seizures is it gets you because it tastes so good initially. You're, no, it doesn't. And then five minutes later, you're like, what? Your stomach is like, what the fuck did you just do to me? Here. Let's do this one first. Okay. And then I can close with the last one. So these are future MMA fighters. You ready? What do you think is going to happen? I'm ready. This little kid's about to knock somebody out. Look at that kid. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, Look. hop. Look. Point. He, lo- he lost the point. Point. And then they reset because karate is weird. They don't keep going in karate. They literally go for like point, like fencing. Look at that. Bless. Hop, Look hop, at hop, him hop. hopping. That's precious. Hop, hop, hop. Lost again. <laughs> and that one kid's not even getting point. out of their square. No, he's not moving at all. <laughs> How cute. Uh, Look at him just a bouncing. That's adorable. Yeah, once in a while I find videos like that that. You know, tickle my fancy. Uh, this is the last one I got, and then we can watch. We've been watching the Scream movies. Yeah. And uh, there's a new one that's out that we have not watched. Number six. But I think this is the last one, and we will we'll watch all of them, right? All the ones except for the one that's in theaters. Yeah. So, oh, dude. That was it. Allegations tonight against a Naperville North teacher who recently took students out of state for a racing event. Well, it started as a really Ready? good feel good story. A group of female automotive students on their yep. way to race a truck that they actually built. They built but the truck and surprise, surprise, truck, women built it. It didn't work. Alleges the teacher took desperate measures to stay on track. Not so desperate if you're posting it. A right. race to break a speed record in a borrowed car with lots of red flags. There was never any talk about, hey, I'm going to this big event at this racetrack yeah. uh, with my high school students, and I'm planning to put this car on the track. That would have absolutely not been okay with me. Yeah, no. It began as a feel-good story in the you automotive shop at Naperville North High School. You An said that. A female student group building a truck to break a land speed record. <laughs> on the way to the race last weekend in Beeville, Texas, Teacher Beeville? Gregory Ditch says the truck became inoperable. Oh, yeah. You had a bunch of females working on it. Like trying to find some type of vehicle somewhere. Giovanni Morales, a San Antonio <laughs> native, says a request came in from Gregory Ditch so on this the app, app to rent his okay. 2021 Toyota Supra. So this app allows people to rent, like, like other people's nice cars. Okay. Which is, like... If you're trusting other people with your nice car, you're kind this of is, half an idiot. Dumb. Yeah. GR 3.0, so, a rare sports car. The yeah. app allows car owners to rent their vehicles to anyone. There you go. Morales says, and Turo confirms and that Ditch rented the vehicle for approximately three days. But Morales says he left out an important detail. Yeah, we're going to race like, it. I don't know why. I get a feeling that maybe this guy was racing this car. <laughs> The dealership or the wholesaler aware that you guys were going to race? It's not a dealership. This seems like when the vehicle was returned, Morales noticed tires fucked up. Wasn't right with some internet sleuthing. Oh no! Discovered photos and video. Don't ask why I'm racing this car. No car. The funny part is, is that they were bragging about winning this this starting competition that she did. A competition that put the pedal to the metal, getting the vehicle up to 160 miles. I love how they showed a name and then they just blurred the faces. Blur faces. It's like, uh, uh, definitely worn down because they got the car up to 160 oh. miles an hour. 160? Says damage that yeah, tires are all done. Brakes are all done. First, he told me, as, as you saw in the screenshot, that it wasn't that car, that it was a completely different car. Of course, you deny until you're caught. Said, so. You Jeez happen to come across a car that looked just like my How do you say that too? They they started their article by saying this is a rare supercar or whatever, a yeah. rare sports car. Right. And then you're gonna tell them, Oh no, I just rented another one. Oh, I the just same to rare, rent the, exact the same, same color. Car, right, in the same area. Like people really same think color, other people are fucking stupid. That don't, are not stock. I mean, come on. Yeah, Photos and like car people, car people know their cars. Oh cars yeah, license plate. You know what I mean? Is the vehicle owned by Morales? Oh, so just and the license plate—that's a dead Turo giveaway too. It's like, oh, Come dude, on. did not, did not. I borrowed the vehicle from. Um, 
You're a we liar. Ended up with the vehicle from, You're a liar. Uh, it didn't come That's from Toyota. Fucking illegal. So we, I started making some phone calls and got it. You see how he's taking so much time to like yeah, answer, and he, and he still hasn't answered the question. Well, you see, well, I borrowed the vehicle from. Uh, well, you know, Elon Musk bought Twitter, and then, uh, you know, you know how things are <laughs> from a uh, from a dealer. Turo sent Morales a letter after a third party investigation. Yeah, the letter says, fuck you, pay me. We definitely have enough to show they were violating our prohibited uses and racing the vehicle. Oh, God. We will follow the fucking thing sucks. Action. We borrowed it. It's legitimate. So. Yeah, you did borrow it. You just didn't follow I your part of the contract. He is or, or what the, the full story is with him, but that's not. You should probably not be in your racing shirt as you're interviewing too. Yeah, come on. That this experience didn't meet the high oh my God. we expect from our community. Our team is in oh. contact with both parties and is actively investigating. Don't ask me why I'm racing a twin turbo. Important. I talked to Naperville oh. North and they gave me these statements. Naperville 203 is aware of the concerns raised by Mr. Morales and is in the process of investigating the situation. Uh, Naperville what? 203 continues to value the accomplishments of our students. There was no accomplishments. Their car didn't work, and they've rented one illegally. And then she right. won a race on a car that wasn't even the one that they worked on. Right. What accomplishment is that? The, right. You could oh, put, you could push the gas pedal. You can lie and throw money at fucking situations and you hope to make them pedal, better. That's all you want. Fuck you. That's the only fucking lesson. The those girls. North High School Girls Auto Club. Mm. Participating in the club has been an extremely positive experience for our students who have oh. been able to learn, grow, and create. Oh, they learned mm. a lot. The they learned to lie, the cheat, and steal on this one. That's crazy. People are stupid. Are right. That's, oh my God. They like, just don't race. Say, hey, our car screwed up on the way here. I don't know That's what happened. Fucking illegal. We can't race it. Yeah, better luck next year. Or right? like, there's probably another event. I don't know, man. It's, it is what Stupid. it is. But what else you got? This is all I had for, for this week. I can't stop yawning. I'm sorry. That's all I got. That's all you got. Let's go watch a movie. Let's drink some wine, bro. Let's do it. Yeah. Open bar. Ow. Sorry. I did nothing. I know. Uh, but anyway, you dumb drunkie. Love, love you. you. And, oh, uh, we're so cute. Maybe I'll see you next week. Maybe. Maybe. Listen, bitch, I'll see you next week. Maybe. See you next week. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You like touching swine? Right. Fucking thing sucks. You're entitled to shit. Oh, he's absolutely outside, but he's absolutely out.